Uh, it was uh, my pleasure to speak at the joint meeting of IOF and ASBMR about uh, risk prediction in Europe uh, and the recent updates uh, to guidance. Uh, FRAX is now 10 years old and uh, we were able to look at some data that shows that the use of FRAX in Europe has doubled uh, in the last eight years uh, and it's increasing at a rate of about 16% a year within European countries. FRAX is obviously useful in identifying patients at increased risk of fracture and we were able to explore the use of that in a large study in the UK that has just been published called the SCOOP study. And in that study uh, we recruited about 12,500 women aged 70 to 85, half of whom were randomised to a control group so that their future fracture care was left to the uh, behest of their GP and the other half had their risk assessment done using FRAX at baseline. Half of those were found to be at low risk and reassured. Uh, the half who were intermediate or high risk had a bone density examination and that was then used in the FRAX calculation and ultimately we identified about uh, just under 900 women who were at high risk of hip fracture. The study then showed that intervention through the GP with anti-resorptive medications reduced the burden of hip fractures by 28% over a five-year follow-up. So this really speaks to the utility of FRAX in a clinical setting to target treatment to high-risk individuals. Uh, it's a, an approach that uh, maybe is not in our first line of treatment at the moment because we are concentrating on fracture liaison services and secondary prevention of fractures, but it does open the way to introducing perhaps population screening in the not too distant future.